table? Uh, eating. Uh, Len, who's paying for your lunch? Ooh, I don't know. Whose turn is it? Uh, uh, not mine, but look. When I have a problem with something, we all have a problem with something. That's the girlfriend's code. <laughs> well, what if, what if what? You go hungry? Fine. What are those heifers doing at our table? Well, somebody better do something, because I only have an hour and a half left on my hour lunch. You guys are driving me crazy. Excuse me. Hi. Since your food hasn't come yet, would you guys mind moving to that table so we can sit at this one? Why can't you sit at that table? Well, see, we come here all the time, and this is our favorite table, so we were just hoping that you could help us out. Well, if it means that much to you. Uh, who's paying for your lunch? Sorry. We were here first. But, see, it's the same table. Obviously, it's not the same table, because if it were the same table, you wouldn't be asking us to switch tables. Look, we were trying to work with you, but I see I'm going to have to go over your head and call my good friend Kevin out here. That would be who? The manager. <laughs> that would be who? The ex-manager. <laughs> who's only gonna last about a minute. Okay, I am not going all out. We're just having a simple meal. Back up. <laughs> We've just been so tough on William's girlfriends, and I just think that it's time that we adjust our attitudes and, and welcome her, even if we end up hating her. Like we have all the others. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. Are we talking about some new girlfriend, or are we talking about Miss Mocha? <laughs> Lynn, her name is Donna, and yes, it's Miss Mocha. <laughs> Don't cram her brulee. I hate her. Why? Tired. She gave me attitude, left me sitting at the bus stop. All I was trying to do was hook her and William up. And since I hate her, we have to all hate her. Remember? It's a girlfriend's code. Oh, sorry, honey. That rule only applies to girlfriends who paid their dues. Hey, everybody. This is Donna. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. But what do you think? Oh, William. That's rude. No. Give them a chance to get to know me and for me to get to know them. So what do you think? I'm cute, huh? <laughs> hey, girl. I'm Tony, and I was all ready to give you my typical cold shoulder, but I want to tell my therapist I've made some progress, so I'm going to like you, girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joan, and any friend of William's is a friend of ours. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> Except for his last three girlfriends. <laughs> Maya, William's assistant. We've talked on the phone. How you doing? <laughs> Use a little of that pillow talk to get me a raise, okay? <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Hi. Hey, Donna. You remember me? Yeah, I just said, hey, Lynn. Oh, so now you got conversation for Lynn. Unlike the time you left me sitting in a bus stop, flat my lips in the cold breeze, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I ditched you because I thought you were one of those dangerous schizophrenic homeless people. Oh, girl, is that all it was? I'll tell you, if I had a nickel. Okay, my well, dinner's ready. I'll fix your plate. Oh, oh so that is so sweet. Oh, I love my women to serve. Uh, Here's when I'm not serving her. <laughs> Donna, um, William's actually allergic to capers. That's why I put them on the side. I know you're probably wondering why I made trout with caper sauce for William, but the fact is that William really loves trout, and I can't imagine trout without the caper sauce, so that's why I put the capers on the side. <laughs> hey, Joan, remember that Christmas party at Mistress Wheelson's? Oh, my God, when they served you the capers? Yes. Donna, you're going to love this one. The thing is, I had a plate full of capers, right? But I had to find a place to dump them, you know, discreetly. <laughs> That's when I found the koi pond. <laughs> but who knew the capers killed koi? <laughs> we were totally going to come clean, but then we found out that koi cost $7,000. So we blame the caterers. It was quite a coup. No, not just any coup. The, the caterer koi, koi caper coup. <laughs> well, I can see.
see where this evening is going, so you can see where I'm going. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, girl. I'm blocking you in. <laughs> so that night will forever be known as the, the Doggy, Doggy Donut, Donut Dumpster, Dumpster Disaster. disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar, baby. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going to clean these dishes up. I'm going to bring out the dessert. I'll help you. No, no, no. That's my job. That's my I would have left by now, but I'm a sucker for creme brulee. Did the two of them ever date? Oh, no. Yuck. <laughs> I thought you slept with him. Yeah, but I never dated him. <laughs> oh, God, Donna, you know what? William and I have completely been monopolizing this entire evening, and we're supposed to be getting to know you. So tell me, what do you do? I work at a convalescent home. Oh, nursing, administrative... No, I wipe butts and serve jello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's not all. Who's directing the upcoming Cinco de Mayo program? Oh, my God. I love Cinco de Mayo. What have you planned so far? I'm thinking burritos and Telemundo. What about games? The Cinco de Mayo has to have games. Like, um, pin the tail on the burrow? Or even better, bobbing for jalapenos. Genius. <laughs> hey. Hand me my scrambling. You know, Donna, a little known fact is that without the events that Cinco de Mayo commemorates, Mexico would be French speaking. Right, William? Right, you are my well informed friend. Yeah, well. The people of Puebla, led by General Zaragoza, fought against Napoleon III to defend their freedom. They were triumphant, and that deserves celebration of the highest. Mm -hmm. Viva la revolution! <laughs> now, hand me Tony's scrambling. <laughs> William. Do you know what I'm thinking? Yes, I think we need to plan this fiesta for Donna. <laughs> Wonder Twin Holiday Powers activate! Shape of a giant sombrero! Form a sangria over ice! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Let me just knock back this bottle of reds in and go with the flow. <laughs> Do you know what the senior citizens are going to love? A supersized pinata! Stuffed with denture cream and adult diapers. <laughs> And no celebration is complete without a, a song. song. And I think you know the one. Oh, I think I know too. <laughs> Friends insulted an emperor, and Mexico didn't like it. The Mexicans threw the scoundrel out. Cinco de Mayo. Oh my God, I think this calls for a diabetic coma. Give me your creme brulee. Cinco de Mayo. The Mexicans got a leader. His name was Zaragoza. He really was something. See. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Wait till you see me dressed like General Zaragoza. You're not going to be able to keep your manos off me, Quippo. William. See? You're a really nice guy. I've never been with a man who truly treated me like a lady. And I will always appreciate you for that. Uh-oh. I think I hear a butt coming. Did those heifers scare you off? I just can't compete. What are you talking about? It's obvious, William. You're in love with Joan. Now, now that is just insane. No, it's not. You're in love with Joan. How much of that red zen did you knock back? <laughs> love her. Stop saying that! It's ridiculous and crazy. And ridiculous. And crazy. And Donna... That's just ridiculous and crazy. She knows your allergies. She knows your pant size. She knows cheese makes you gassy. Oh, please. Every unsuspecting passerby knows that cheese makes me gassy. What about this Cinco de Mayo thing and, and the whole... Wonder Twins business, that was just scary. Okay, everyone feels that way till they're inducted into the Justice League. I'll tell you what, you can be any superhero you want, except for Wonder Woman, because that's Mama. Look, I don't want to be in your life ten years from now, married with a house full of kids, and one afternoon you come home and tell me you realize you're in love with Joan. How can you say that? After everything I went through to get you to go out with me. Do you realize how many times I almost gave up trying to win you over? But I didn't. Why? Because I'm all about you. Look at you, Donna. You're beautiful. 
You make me laugh. You make me nervous. Your smile lights up everything around you, especially me. Joan's not the one, and I know that. Because... Because why? Because I never wanted to do this with Joan. Tell me the legend of the legend of the legend of. Please tell me the legend of that great historic day. William, why the gloomy Guillermo? Where is your Cinco de Mayo spirit? I don't know. Well, come on. It's going to be fantastic. I mean, can't you just see the two of us up there? Yes, I can. That's why I don't want to do this. Well, why not? Because. Because who are you supposed to be, anyway? I am a simple peasant girl, representing all the people of Puebla. <laughs> Led by you, the great General Zaragoza. Now do your march. No! I don't want to sing and I want to march. Joan, this is stupid. Stupid? I don't understand. It's stupido. <laughs> We're gonna look like idiots up there. Well, that's never stopped us before. Well, Donna's gonna be there. And I... Look. It's demeaning to us. It's demeaning to the people of Mexico. And we're making a mockery of the whole holiday of Cinco de Mayo. Oh, really? Well, why don't you tell that to the millions of Mexicans who crowd the streets and dance in costumes not unlike this one? <laughs> You just proved my point. Oh, yeah? Well, buenos dias to you, El Treteria. You just called me an Italian restaurant! I said buenos dias! Come on, Herman. You need to go to the bathroom before the show starts. I don't have to go. You will by the time you get there. Now, come on. <laughs> Why are you always rushing me, woman? <laughs> because I'm trying to kill you, old man. Yeah. Now go on. If, if five wives and 20 mooching kids couldn't kill me, you sure can. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey. Oh, this is for you. Thank you. Yeah. William, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. Like I said, I've never dated anyone like you before, and I guess I just got a little insecure. Well, you don't need to be. Look, I'm here. This is exactly where I want to be. Hey, Donna, there's no toilet paper. <laughs> oh, God. I think he's in the phone booth again. <laughs> Hello. Looks real nice. Real south of the border. Oh, come on. Now you're not talking to me? The love of holiday is something we shared, William, and you just tossed it down the disposal like rancid taco meat. What? Some of us are swept up with all things Mexican. Look, I'm sorry. If you were truly sorry, then you would go and put on your General Zarangosa costume and help me unload the cannon from the car. You got a cannon? I'm nothing, if not authentic. Oh, man, I've always wanted to do a musical number with an artillery piece. 
and a horse. What about a burro? No way! We got five minutes to curtain, William. Are you with me? Well, well you can ride in on the burro. Oh, God. No. Look, I don't want anything to do with you or your ass. What? Tell the legend of the legend of the legend of Let me tell the legend of the great historic day Please tell me the legend of the legend of the legend of Please tell me the legend of that great historic day Lady, please, just strip a shut up <laughs> Mexicans, they fought the French, they fought the French, they fought the French. The Mexicans, they fought the French and won their liberty. I don't know if you're lying to me or to yourself, but you love that woman. I do not. Please tell me the Look, Joan and I are like sister and brother. Well, then, you got the hats for your sister, brother. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is holiday time, holiday time, holiday time. Cinco de Mayo. Holiday time in Mexico. Now the men, Cinco de Mayo is holiday time. Holiday time. Holiday time. Cinco de Mayo is holiday time in Mexico. All the ladies. Donna, you and I were meant to be together. Holiday time. Look, I wasn't planning on telling you this, ever. The desperate times call for desperate measures. A psychic led me to you. What? A psychic pointed you out on the street and said that you were the one for me. A psychic? Yes. Led you to me? Yes. And if you can't believe a psychic on the street, you might as well toss your faith right out the window. Well, William, maybe the psychic led you to me so I could lead you to her. Now, everybody! Good luck. Thank you! <laughs> Burrow on the butt. <laughs> She's a handful. talk all big and then turn tail and run? Damn right we run. Back to Skia because our table is free. Come on. <laughs> oh, hell, I cannot believe this. What are we going to do now? Well, you guys, we can't harass four police officers. No, no, but we can do something better. Oh, my God! There's a black man outside minding his own business! <gasps> Damn them and their sensitivity training. <sighs> 